Hi guys, I'm Zed and welcome to episode 20 of the FC25 player career mode with Conrad Zan. Now, this is the first time in my entire YouTube career that I'm reaching episode 20 on a player career mode. <laughs> and it's crazy because it's either um, it was school or it was my health or it was the game just deciding to delete my entire save file and I can't continue the, the current mode but something was always getting in the way and now we finally have reached episode 20. Anyways let's jump back into Conrad Zan action. Zan is currently leading the UEFA Champions League top scorers table. Will he manage to finish the season at the top? He should. That's if we actually make it to the to where we're supposed to which is the finals and winning it in general. So like I said in the last episode I'm going to not do the training anymore because, I mean, we really do not need to be racking up skill points like this because we're already on 96 and there's just no points. I mean, I think 45 skill points can get us to 99. I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty honest, it can. So I'm not even going to start the training anymore. I'm going to be relying on my match performance for the manager rating. So if I do bad, that will go down. I probably will go into the subs if I do bad, like, consecutively. And the last episode, the final match, um, I think it was in the Champions League, we got a hat-trick and... Um, a 10 point match rating so i'm going to be allocating some stuff to my player his freaking accuracy I'm going to take that to 97 and then let's see his part his dribbling rather attacking position will go to 99 with that dribbling is already on 99 ball control will go to 99 for sure so i think i'm going to work on that and well, do we move yeah we are now a 97 rated player <laughs> A 97 rated 19 year old without a Ballon d'Or, alright. So it's going to happen eventually, I know that for a fact. And in case anyone is interested in his stats, he has 50 goals in 58 games and 23 assists. That is just mad. It's just mental to be honest. Next up though, we have Spurs action. We are finally going to be in our first final in English football. And that is the Carabao Cup final, the EFL Cup final. Do we have what it takes? We're not starting our main team. Well, I, I would understand because I mean, it's the Carabao Cup. But I mean, it's still a really, a pretty important cup to win so let's hope that we do all right so get an 8.5 match rating avoid losing the match score at least one goal from outside the box i'm going to enhance this one in the middle and before we go into the match let me just change the audio setting all right we're good so they've kicked off Darren nunez and let's see if we can get a win against spurs in the premier league we drew against them in the match a very annoying draw which we could have won but you know that wasn't the case let me get this so we don't get head on that sadly all right out to yamin get it back out to me and i see javi simmons there Haaland, that's a good shot oh my god oh my god i feel like that is a back pass what the hell oh no don't let him shoot please what how did he just how the hell did he even do that no all right, that's that's perfect. Holland, get this out to me. Thank you. Get this out to Holland. Nice. Can Holland cross it? He can. Can I score this? I can. And that is really good. That is really good play from the Manchester City team, man. I actually really, really enjoy what just happened there. I mean, hold up play was really good. Yamin Lamal, Javi Simmons, um, Konrad Zan. And well, it ended up with a really, really well-deserved goal. That's a really nice volley from Zan, though. Nice. Alan, you can score this. Thank you. And that is 2-0, just like that. That is 2-0, just like that. And we are looking like we are going to be winning this flawlessly effortlessly i swear to god if i was actually playing every single one of the matches like all the full matches i'm pretty sure that um our team will be like undefeated right now because i mean apart from the arsenal match i mean we played really well in all the all the full matches that we've we've been a part of all right lamine i see you can you reach this you can't that's a good ball that's a good ball all right brilliant but the defender was able to read that very well and well that is another chance long gone that's a really good play from the yami though i think he's actually looking to be a lot better in this match alone i don't know about the rest of the episode but i hope he can actually play a lot better and that is a good save from Ederson. i don't think he was ever going to get beat from there on god all right so we're almost done with the first half not a lot happened um apart from those two goals that we scored 
I mean, there's been a couple attacks that uh, the defenders were just able to deal with properly. But all in all, we've done really well. A goal and assist. We're always getting a goal and assist. And I like, and I love that. So 9.1 match rating already. And we haven't scored from outside the box. I don't think we, okay, we should have done that in our life once. But the thing about scoring from outside the box is that the only chances I get to score from outside the box is when I'm trying to do the finesse with my right foot. And it's just not good. You get me? All right, Holland. Ah, oh, shit. You took too much time with the pass back. All right, so we have a chance for another counter-attack here. Hopefully, oh, that is... Oh, my God, no. Oh, my God. Ederson is on crack with that. What the hell are you telling me? Holland, shit. All right, Holland, I see you. Don't make the bloody pass, man. What the hell are you doing? All right, so we have a counter-attack. And Haaland did really well there. I think this is going to be another goal. Maybe or maybe not. Keeper makes a good save. Keeper makes a good save. I should have passed it. I was tunnel vision as usual. So I didn't see if I could have passed it after I did the chop. But, I mean, it's still, it's still relatively okay. Um, why are we playing a corner from here, though? Usually not the case. But let's see if we can score here. The defender does really well. I probably should have passed after. But, you know... I'm always trying to score those kind of really, really nice goals, but sadly it didn't work out this time. All right, back to Simmons. Please, can you do something here? Can I score this? Oh my God, I cannot score those kind of goals in my right foot for the life of me. That's what I'm always doing the Trevella. It just doesn't work out. Like, I don't know what the hell else I'm supposed to do, man, because I'm, I'm literally like taking it to the far corner, but it just, it just wouldn't work. Nice. Nice. Can I cut inside here? Holland. Shit. Javi, back to me. Brilliant. No one is there. Holland, you're at the far post. I saw oh, Yamin Lamal. Oh my god. <laughs> I was going for Holland. I didn't know it was going to reach Yam Yamal, but that would have been such a good goal if that came off. Nice. Interception. Or rather, a, tack a tackle. Whatever it is. Nice. Gets out to Haaland. All right, let's see if we can. He's offside, isn't he? All right, that's just a very weird pass from Haaland. I don't know why he was such. He was in such a hurry there. Maybe this time. All right, it doesn't work. I'm not even going to try anymore because it's just it's just dumb. It just doesn't work. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I want to do because I'm literally like taking it all the way to the angle with the controller but it's not it's not just working but anyway that is our first ever trophy in english football and it's the carabao cup i mean we're still in the fa cup we are still in the um premier league or very much still in the premier league and i mean we might be looking at another Manchester City treble really 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 influenced by conrad zan i didn't really play all of the matches i simulated the majority of them and I played the semi-finals and the finals. And I mean, it was good enough to get ourselves this win. So this is going to be our first trophy. And it's going to be lifted by who? By Rodri. Yeah, he's the new captain of the Manchester City team. After um, the Bruners early as fuck departure to Aston Villa. Which was so weird. But anyways, this is the first trophy that we're lifting in England. And there we have a Conrad Zahn. The latest. The latest youngest winner. Of, oh, Yamin Laban is also there. I think he's also our age. Or he could be a bit older than us, I'm not sure. But anyways, we are the latest winners of the Carabao Cup. And this has been a really good cup run. Let's move on to the rest of the episode. All right, there we are celebrating in the locker room. And we didn't get the score from outside the box. Okay, I mean, that's pretty cool. Do we have any new clubs that are actually looking for our signature? I mean, I'm just checking because I'm just like curious. We have Punjab FC again. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is, man. I don't know why they keep requesting from me i'm never going to be going to that team but we have um international football next up here but let's look at the calendar real quick and um, let's see what exactly that we have to do in this um episode all right so we have these two international pictures i think they're still qualifiers so i'm going to simulate this one and play the highlight of this one and then we have the emirates FA cup i don't think that is a quarter final or semi-final so i'm going to be um probably playing the highlight since it's Aston villa that we're playing there and it's away from home as well and then we have the we'll probably end the match with the um 
facing that match. Would be simulating this match against Scotland and hoping for a win in the Euros qualifiers. We don't win. We do score though. So I don't know if that would mean we did well. No, we didn't. For our manager objective, we didn't. So that dropped. We dropped in points with that. But next up, we have um, Iceland. And we're currently third in the group though. And I, I believe that we should be able to win this one because we're going to be playing the highlights of it. I forgot to, I forgot to check the kits. Okay, they don't match. Alright, that's good. Alright, I will kick off at the World Stadium. I believe that's the stadium that we're in. And we have a counter-attack to start. I really hope that we actually... Um, oh my god. How did I just know that that shit was going to happen? Like, how did I actually... How did I know? Alright, Florian Wirtz. And um, Musiala, that was not a very smart pass. <laughs> I swear to God. But anyway, we have a crossing opportunity for Jeremy here. This is why I actually love this. Um, um, playing as a striker. What the hell? That's the second time he's doing this in this in this thing in this game. Next up is another counter attack. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! And that is the third time in a row. I'm not even doing that shit. I'm not. I'm not doing this shit with this game. Sorry. I'm just. I had to restart it because it's not even fair at this point. Like, it's not fair at this point that this shit keeps happening. Alright, counter-attack. And I don't know if the ball is just going to drop from the air or not. Alright, it's not. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Jesus. Brother, chill, man. Nice. Can I score from here? I can shoot. but well, I can't score, sadly. And we have another counter-attack here. And I, I'm looking like I can actually, like, just run through. What well, you think about this game is that the defenders are a lot faster than me. I look at that. I, I couldn't even do anything. <laughs> I couldn't even do anything. But anyway, we have a solo run, which is good. I hope that the ball doesn't fly away from me. Because that would be pretty... Alright. That's great. That's actually rather irritating, to be honest. Nothing comes with that. I was trying to, I was trying to make them wait. So that I can get a goal. But sadly that didn't happen. And this time, I don't know what the ball is going to do. Exactly. It was it was quite obvious. And look at that. I'm, I'm, I'm getting really frustrated. It's getting, it's getting to me, to be honest. It's really, really getting to me. Because I don't know what the hell to do. Nice. But can we score this? We should be able to. And definitely, and that's the first goal. All right, it's get, it was getting to me and I'm getting... Uh, the, the frustration of that shit is building up. But luckily, we we're able to score. And of course, of course, they score like right immediately. And man, I don't even... It's, it's just annoying. It's just annoying. It's not really a lot that you can do about it. The ball is with us, hopefully. Yes, it is. Can you score? Oh, never mind. <laughs> I don't even know what I could have done differently there, but this is looking like it could be a good chance. I think I should move wide. Oh my god. Oh my calm down, Zed. Calm down. Alright, we have one more chance to win this match. And it's a crossing opportunity. I don't know if I should try and see how that's nice, but um nothing actually does come of that. Let's see if we can do this again. And he he's not able to make a pass. <laughs> what the fuck was that shot even? That was just weird. Alright, so um, we draw the match. We could have won it easily. I just don't know what to say. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do about the issue. And it's just it's just nothing. There's nothing I do about it. I'm I'm flustered. I don't know what the fuck to say. I'm just I'm not irritated to be honest. Like well and truly. But next up we have Aston Villa in the um I think FA Cup. Yeah. And I don't know what round this is, round six. All right, so I think after this one should be the quarterfinals for Mo Gong. So let's hope that we can actually get ourselves a win here. All right, it's 7.0 match rating, complete one pass, and I get and get one assist total. So I believe that we should be able to do all of those in this match. I just hope that the game doesn't do the same shit that they normally do. I don't know why Calvin... Okay, so that guy is playing these guys so off... I am actually, I am actually legit so confused. Like you guys don't even, you guys can't even understand how confused I am with this shit. You guys can't ever understand how confused I am. And I just took too much time to do the skill there. I wanted to do a skill and get past them easily, but sadly that didn't happen. 
And we have... Uh, okay, so we actually kind of threw on goal. We actually kind of threw on goal. Can we score? No, we can't. I don't, I don't know what I could have done differently there. Probably could have passed, obviously. But Aston Villa have gotten themselves a goal. And that is not very good, is it? But this is nice. Please score this. All right, so we've equalized. That is actually a really, really good volley. And we are back in the game. Let's hope that they do not score another goal. They do not. We have a counter-attack, though. Okay, let's give it to Haaland. And yeah, I'm, I just fuck it up, man. But it's looking like we won it. I don't know what happened. Is it going to penalties? I don't know what's going on. We we won it. I don't know who scored. It went to extra time and we won it. So I will take that. That shit is usually the other way around. So I'm, I'm happy with it either ways, man. But next up, we have Premier League action. Back to Premier League action. And we have Crystal Palace. Let me take a look at the table real quick. West Ham is still above us in terms of goal difference. And they are... We're matching them game for game. And I would really, really hope that they fuck up eventually. I mean, they should, right? My fingers are crossed here. So let's hope that we get the win. We do not. We lose. Man, I don't even... <laughs> no, that is, that is crazy. And we are... We are down to the subs with that. What the fuck? We have actually gone down to the subs. And we have a match against Manchester United. It's not official. What the fuck is that? It's not official yet, but there is a risk to see Zan leave on loan. One of my favorite Man City players. How is that even possible? What the fuck are these guys telling me? <laughs> now that is just insane. Let's look at the the agent thing real quick. Um, yeah, we're not leaving alone no matter what. I don't think um, there are even enough games for us to even leave on loan. For us to even fail that uh, objective. West Ham won their match, obviously. So they are now um, three points ahead of us again with an even larger goal difference. And I don't... I mean, it's looking like... It's looking like we're going to fight really hard for this. I do not want to lose, to be honest. But this match, I didn't even know it was here, though. So I'm going to play the full match of it let's look at the calendar what we have all right so we have the this full match against Manchester United we're coming on from the bench so I mean it shouldn't really take that much time so I think that should be good I think we got that in the bag normally I would have just like um trained and gone back up to the starting 11 but I mean it's interesting starting as a sub isn't it all right Haaland I see you can you make this can I score this? Please tell me I score it. All right, finally. Finally, we score a freaking finesse with our with our right foot. Finally. Let me look at our objectives real quick. Um, we're supposed to get a, a 6.5. Complete four passes, get a cross success rate of... Okay, so I'm probably going to be um, completing two of those because I'm not crossing. I hardly ever cross. That was a really good goal. What the fuck is that? No, no, no. What the fuck is that? Come on, guys. Come on. That was it. <laughs> Nah, this game is just tweaking, man. Or oh, they're looking really dangerous, especially Xerxes and... Oh, that's a goal. I don't know why the hell they left him to do whatever the hell he wanted to do. I mean, that is so annoying because, I mean, he shouldn't even... He shouldn't even be scoring that. The defenders should be able to, like, um, hold him there and stop him from making that shot. And they just left him. They just... They legit just left him, man. All right. Um, What can I do here? Bruh, these guys are trying to kill me. Let's go. If these guys score a second goal, I'm going to be so pissed because it's not even it's not even something that should be possible, man. Like it's it shouldn't be possible at all. Alright, Holland, see you. Nice. Can I get this to you? I can't. Please score it. Thank you. And that is another assist. Yeah, so that match against um who did it play? Crystal Palace that we lost. I mean we shouldn't I mean we do not deserve to go down to the to the subs because i mean there's just so much i can do with the simulations I, I never really can predict them but that is a really really good goal from Haaland. good um, pass from him we get yet another um um goal and assist in a full match and can i score this i should not be able to and that was actually a lot better than the other ones i've been trying and I try a lot because, I mean, it's just something that I should try a lot, really. But, I mean, that time we were able to, like, work the keeper a little bit. All right, I can't see. All right, Holland, you would... Please, nice. Oh, God. I don't know what I could have done there. I mean, how is he catching up to me? 
you know what well, that's just like old right now i'm just i see that a lot and i'm just going to it's just really frustrating to be honest because it doesn't make any sense all right Holland, i see you please make the goal score the goal and shit he goes near post and what is it is it a good shot i would have liked a second assist but you know it is what it is or right, this thing is actually blocking me and is rather annoying to be honest nice we're still going Holland. you got this please score it why are you going near post man like fucking shoot some other direction all right so the match is almost over i think yeah it is now and that is a big win against united they actually defeated us in the reverse fixture at the at the beginning of the season i think it was a really bad win i think it was 4-0 or 4-1 or something like that but we got our revenge in our own stadium Koranzan has come off the bench to do really really well so i hope that we can actually stay like on the what do you call it on the in the starting eleven now. All right, so we are back in the starting eleven a little bit in the starting eleven. So we have um we are on thing ice basically. I need to perform in the next match. But the thing is, okay, it's against Milan. We're going to be playing the playable highlights for this, and it should we should be able to do well in that match and get ahead of I get a bit more of the manager rating basically. Picture in the derby though, we did really well. So you always seem to save your best performances for the derby. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I really don't. Guess who just showed Manchester City who is boss? Exactly, that is me. We absolutely demolished them after we came on. Working on an improvement plan with the coach. Okay, that's cool. Um, let's look at the table in case um, West Ham might have dropped a couple points. And what do you know? They actually didn't. Of course they didn't. We have eight more matches to play and the West Ham is looking like they are going to win this league. Legit. I don't know if next episode is going to be the final episode. I doubt. I mean, we have just the semi-finals and the finals of the Champions League. And then the... The... Um, finals of the FA Cup if we actually do reach there but right now though we have the first leg of the Champions League quarterfinals against um, AC Milan and I mean we should be able to get a, a win here we are a better team on paper I would like to believe all right we're supposed to get a seven point match rating complete one pass get an assist on goal all right so I mean we should be able to get those in this match so we're start we're kicking off and let's see if we can get ourselves a win but okay we're going to pass here Get the ball back go inside of the defender get past the other defender and maybe a power shot and it gets blocked but we weren't able to do anything with that so now we have a free kick on holland i mean i would want to score this i would want to score this holland is probably going to you know let's just let's just not be stingy here let's try and get this to holland which we do and he doesn't get great oh well, we're still with the ball are we out of zone of course and next up we have a counter attack ac milan have already scored a goal which is not good but let's see if we can do oh shit what the fuck is that tell me i'm up i'm outside great great bloody hell man all right we have a crossing opportunity this time around can we get an assist or something we should be able to holland let's see what you can do please why 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 is this game so irritating just fucking volley the ball we have a good chance to get our first free kick here there's no way in hell i'm going to be um playing this passing this rather so let's hope that we can get this on let's hope that we can get this on i really hope so of course <laughs> and that's the end of the match we lose it one nil in our home stadium as that so that is not a very good performance we we got two of our objectives so that is relatively good next up we have aston villa who is currently sixth in the in the premier league we're going to be simulating that match because i am an idiot <laughs> but i just want to get to the the matching you know what i'm not going to simulate it i'm that's crazy to try and simulate it man so i'm just going to so let's look at the kit real quick and hope that okay so that doesn't really okay i think that's just the best to be honest so let's go into the match i hope that we can get ourselves a win we have just five goals left to score in the champions league though and it's really sad that we weren't able to score in that match against milan all right first off we have a counter attack and i think this is actually a really good no it's not never mind <laughs> like the game is going to fuck it up obviously well let's see if we can make the most of it actually Holland maybe and shit i didn't want to do the finesse because i'm not really confident in that but we have a free kick here in a very very interesting position i don't know if i want to go do an in swinger or an out swinger but you know i think i'm going to go um for this let's hope that i can actually get this in the back of the net finally 
Please, Lord. Nah, it's a deflection and <laughs> we're still unable to get a freaking free kick. Okay, the boys with me here. Holland, please score this. Thank you. And that is the equalizer. I didn't even know that they had scored. I just saw right now that, that it was 1-1. One, one. And we have... Please tell me they haven't scored. Alright, so we have the, the last attack. Possibly the last attack. And I'm going to go for a 1-2 here. That's the game. Haaland is moving absolutely mad recently. Can I cut inside? Haaland. Nice. Please score this. Thank you. And that is two. Two goals for Haaland. And two assists for me in this match. That is that is brilliant. And please tell me that we win the match. Yes, we do. Alright, so I don't know if we're going to be able to get the record. Because, I mean, it's looking like we have too few games to try and do that. We're currently at 27 goals with just 7 games to play. We have, um, I think that is 9 goals to score to reach Haaland's record. And, I mean, it's possible for Konrad Zahn. It's very, very possible. But I can only hope that we do it. But the way that things are going in this episode... I'm not quite certain, I'm not quite confident that we are going to be able to match or beat that record in the first season. But I have to focus on the match at hand, which is the second leg of the quarterfinals of the Champions League. And I do not like this home kit that they're sporting right now, so I'm going to change it to the away kit because it just, it just makes more sense. And I'm going to wear the green one that I really like. Oh, you know what? Let's wear the burgundy one. I think I prefer, I think I would want to wear that for this match. So let's hope that we can get ourselves a win and get ourselves to the next round of the of the semi of the Champions League rather. We've done really well in all the four matches that we have played in this game. And um, it's, I think it's four more matches like this one, the two semi-finals and the finals. It's four matches for us to be able to try and match Ronaldo's record in the Champions League. We're trying this again for the second season in a row. Uh, and we're really close. We already had 16 goals by the round of 16 which is crazy like it was crazy but i mean we're able to, to get it but let's hope that we can get to this time we have a couple more games to to be able to try and do it so let's hope that that is the that is the case all right we are looking to zoom off here and what the fuck is that we still move with the ball though and that is nice okay we're still with the ball nice box to the mean yeah, mean to us and can we score this yes we can and that is the first goal that is the first goal in this match that was really really well worked from Konrad Zan. i don't know how he managed to keep the ball all through that but i mean it was a really really good run from him and a well-deserved goal um one to with yamin lamao and well the keeper had no chance with that first time effort no all right that's a really good tip from Edison. they would have gone back up all right so we have a chance for a counter but i think they're going to go short no they're not Ederson, nice, nice, and we are through. Tell me we are through. Tell me we are through. There's no way these guys are going to be catching me. Because that would just not make any sense. And shit. I shouldn't have tried to pass immediately after I did that skill. I all started with the really good interception from me. And can you get this back to me? How long? You should be able to score this, right? He bro went for a bloody power shot, man. Bill went for a bloody power shot for that. <laughs> that is just crazy. No, 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 no. Please, thank you. God, that would have been crazy if, if he got if he got in behind. All right, the second half starts now, and I swear to God, I would have probably gotten a couple more goals, like for not necessarily me, but like for the team, if I played a little bit more sensible, sensibly in the in the first half. But Yamin Lamau, I see you. Nice. Can we? get this holland no we can't all right so javi good we're still with the ball all right please score this holland thank you that's a really good goal that's another assist in a match for us and we are doing really really well you know what i would like to do i'd like to score a brace or a hat trick in this match so that i would have less matches to try and beat that record and it's looking like the match to do it because um offensively oh my god oh my god that is just stupid man that is just fucking stupid how they were so wide open nobody tried to close him down or anything bruh how does that even work man oh my god no and that is another good save from ederson all right so we yeah that they're, they're plenty short so the chance for counter attacks are kind of oh okay that's crazy oh my god all right um ederson nice let's get to yamin he should get this to us. 
please. Nice. All right. Fucking hell. They're looking really dangerous here. So let's hope that um, nothing comes of this. Because if if they score, I think we're going to be level on goals. All right, let's try and uh, make the counter here or not. All right, Xavi Simmons, I see you. Nice. Please. And, oh God, I didn't even know he passed it back to me. I wasn't ready for that because I would have blasted it immediately, to be honest. But that is nice from Yankote, but he's not able to, to stick with the ball, though. Guardio, come on. You got this. You got this. Come on. Nice. Good save from Ederson. Really good save from Ederson. All right. So we have one more chance to try and get this game to bed. And that is really good. Let's try and cut inside. Give it to Haaland. Who will... I can't do that. All right. So that's the end of the match, basically. And we have one, eight, one goal, one assist. That is still good enough to get ourselves through to the semi-finals of the Champions League. And... We didn't really do well in the second half. I think the roles have been switched now. We're now doing a little better in the first half. And we're doing absolute shit in the second half. But I mean, we still did we still did really well. And but yeah, we got our, our team to the semi-finals. We're really carrying Manchester City really hard. Because in the simulations and the playable highlights, this team is fucking shit. Sorry to say, but I mean, it's true. The team is fucking shit in the, in the simulations and the highlights. But we got all our objectives. What were our objectives? All right, 8.5. We're going to draw a couple of four passes. All right, that's good. All right, next up, we have Premier League action against Southampton. And I'm going to be simulating this to end the episode. But let's look at the calendar real quick to see if I actually want to do that. Because I want to um, limit the amount of... I want to reduce the amount of games I can play in the next episode as much as possible. I'm going to finish the season in the next episode. So I'm going to simulate the Southampton match and the Fulham match. So hopefully those go well. Let's look at the calendar real quick. This mask is actually really annoying me right now. Oh my god, they lost. And they drew. So if we win this next match against this team, then we are going to... Bruh, please, I beg of you. I beg this game so much. Southampton is freaking 19th on the table. So we should be able to win this easily. Yeah, we do. Do we score? Yes, we do. All right, that's another goal added to our tally in the Premier League. And next up, we have the match against Fulham. And we get the win against Fulham next. Do we get a hat-trick? We got a hat-trick. We got a freaking hat-trick. And I'm pretty sure we got a 10-point match rating as well. So let's take a look and see if we did. Yes, we did. So we are, we're going to be allocating two more skill points to our player. And this has been a really, really good episode for him. Next up, we have Brentford in the semi-finals of the FA Cup. And in the Premier League, I think West Ham drew yet another match. So they are beginning to bottle it. <laughs> they are beginning to bottle it. I'm really, really happy about that. And we are now five, four points clear of them. So we have a little bit of leeway. We have a win, we're a win and a draw away from them, basically. So I believe that we should be able to win every single match from now on. We're currently the top scorer in the FA Cup as well. So, I mean, Konradzan is just absolutely going crazy with this competition. And in the Premier League, we have just five goals to reach Haaland's record. Haaland's on 20 goals right now. I really want him to be like the second to get past Evan Nielsen, which is actually crazy that a player from Bournemouth is second, by the way. And in the Champions League, we have 13 goals. And that is four more goals to beat Ronaldo's record and we have three matches to do that let's hope that we can actually do that then we scored a total of eight goals in this match not really a lot but we are moving mad completely 27 assists at that we have 15 in the premier league six in the champions league where we're absolutely a beast so anyways this is the end of the video if you have enjoyed it make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified on when i drop new videos on my channel that is every day so i'll see you in my next video Peace.